Morning, it's Nick and Sam from AgriPest Management, the specialists in, in rural and agricultural pest control. Today we're doing a bit of a talk and a QA and a on uh, ferrets and ferreting. Um, AgriPest Management have uh, six ferrets in total. We've got five working gills and a working hob. Um, so firstly, I'm going to ask Sam, why do we go for five gills and one hob? Right, so the reason we've got five gills and a hob is um, generally we prefer gills just because they work better for us because um, they're smaller and can fit down tighter warrens and they just seem to work quicker. Um, but the problem with gills is they come into heat so that you need the hob to bring the gills out of heat because if not um, it can lead to complications and they can potentially die so we use the hob to bring the gill out of season. Also the hob seems to be quite a prolific worker doesn't it? Yeah, well the difference between the gills and the hobs is the gills, the gugs, they work fast but they soon tire out whereas the hobs have a lot more stamina uh, so they can go for longer. The, 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 um, the hobs tend to work slower um, but as I say they can work longer. Yeah, so what we'll do is we're going to get a couple of our ferrets out. So this is one of the European gills that we have called Lily. We'll bring it to the camera. So as you can see, they're perfectly designed for, for the work that they do, which is going down rabbit warrens. So when we put them down rabbit warrens, Sam, what's, what's the aim? What, what are we looking to, to gain from, from these little critters? So basically the ferret's job is to bolt the rabbit. Um, we don't want the ferrets to catch the rabbit because, well, that's a problem in itself. Because if the ferret catches the rabbit down the hill or down the warren, um, you're not going to get your ferret back because it'll eat the rabbit down there and then fall asleep and you'll be waiting hours for it to come out. So the aim really is for the ferret to bolt the rabbit um, and they do this by when they're sort of working through the warrens. The rabbits will sense the ferrets coming, they'll either smell them or see them and they'll know that there's danger so they bolt out. And then when we're uh, above ground and the ferrets are below ground doing their job, what is it that we use to, to net the rabbits? So we use um, mainly three types of nets. Um, so the first net that we use is the purse nets, um, which look like that. So what, what do we do with these? So basically purse nets, um, well they do sort of what the name says really. Um, they're a net that you place above the hole that when the rabbit hits, it tightens itself. Um, so at one end you've got your ring, and then the other end here is where we attach the pegs. So you, you basically, the way that we set them is we, we get the ring end, put it into the warren a bit, uh, and then double back with the net, um, and tether that down with the peg. So basically the rabbit will fall out the warren into the, the um, net and it will tighten like that, and you've got your rabbit basically. And well, what's the benefits of using ferrets? Um, I mean, it's a, we know it's a very traditional sport, and people have been doing it for hundreds and hundreds of years. But why does this, why is this method, um, it's a sustainable method I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, very sustainable and also the most natural method of doing it because um, obviously you're using the ferrets, you're not using any sorts of um, harmful chemicals or anything. Um, so, so it's effective in that way. Um, also the ferrets are probably the most effective way of bolting rabbits. There isn't really much other method of actually bolting a rabbit other than using ferrets. Um, and another positive to using ferrets is you've got your rabbit at the end of it, which is healthy food, not only for the ferrets, but for us as well. And what do we do with the rabbits once we've caught them? You so, I'm presuming that, you know, every, everything that gets pulled out of the ground should be utilised in some way. Yeah, well, I think it's important if you're going to go out and do a job and um, dispatch the rabbit, it's important to use it and not just throw it away. So we, well, most of our rabbits go into feeding our ferrets. Um, but we also eat some of the rabbits ourselves, uh, some goes to the game dealer and um, other rabbits we sometimes feed to the birds of prey around the estate such as red kites and buzzards. Yeah, that's brilliant. Um, so today we're going to be uh, going to do a, a job in a domestic garden. Um, this particular customer, she's been having problems uh, with rabbits digging up the garden. Uh, she's got several warren networks within the garden as, as well. Um, so she's called AgriPest, asked if we can go and have a look, which we did last week. Uh, we determined that the ferrets were going to be the best course of action. Um, too risky using other methods like snaring, fen trapping uh, and shooting. It's too, too close to the public, uh, public domain. There's also quite a busy road that runs through as well. So 
it's determined that we're that the fountain is going to be the most uh, practical option. So we're, what we're going to be doing is today we're going to be setting up the nets. We're going to show you the process that we use to do that. Um, with ferreting, AgriPest, uh, we're fully qualified, we're fully insured. Our ferrets are, are maintained and cared for at the highest of standards. We, we think that's really important. Um, when it comes to ferreting, there is a perception that ferreters can be a slightly unscrupulous character or ferreters will tend to come in because they're doing it for free. They will come in and they'll only ferret their warrens that are easy accessible. AgriPest are a bit different. We'll come in and we'll ferret everything. So there's nothing that's too hard for us to ferret. We have the equipment, our ferrets are really, really good workers, um, and Sam and I are both well trained in, in ferreting as well. So um, there's going to be a part two of this video, which is us um, working the ferrets, which I hope you also enjoy. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hi, it's Nick from AgriPest Management. So we've set up a, a cordon around this particular warren in this domestic garden. So here we've got the uh, long nets that we've put around the perimeter of the warrens. Um, this is a fail safe. <coughs> so although we've person netted each particular warren, if they were to slip that net, we've got the long nets just as a backup. So I'll, I'll come and show you what we've been doing. So these are the uh, 50 meter long nets. As you can see, there's quite a lot of bag in them. That's designed for when the rabbit comes out of the warren, it bolts into the net and gets caught. But not only have we put the long nets up, we've also been putting the purse nets in. I'm gonna come a bit closer, Sam, so people can hear us. So these are the purse nets. And what's, what the design is here is we put the ferret down, the ferret does its business down in the warrens, spooks the rabbit, the rabbit comes up through the warren, into the net, pulls and gets tethered like that and as you can see we've got a peg down that end that stops them from pulling further. The rabbit will get removed from the net and then the net will get resitued. Back in the warren like so. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, five purse nets out. I'm gonna drop a ferret in now and let's see what uh, see what results we get. Here we have a Jill. We also have the hob.
So we've just got back to the ranch, put these guys to bed, they've had a really good day. Um, if you've got a problem with rabbits, whether it be in the agricultural, domestic or commercial environment, please feel free to contact AgriPest Management. We're always here, happy to give advice, happy to help, happy to come and see a particular problem. The, you can either contact us on our email, which is nick at agripestmanagement.co.uk, or visit our website at www.agripestmanagement.co.uk. Thanks for watching.